Good morning, everybody. It's Roger here. Um, we got to talk about this thing called um, a very fucked up case in San Francisco. And it's regarding um, Jose Zarate, uh, a seven time felon. You know, this with being uh, an illegal alien uh, in America. Apparently, uh, a San Francisco jury has just determined that guns go off by themselves. At least that's what the verdict is, is uh, at least note notating at this point. And it's kind of a sad deal uh, all around because, I mean, this is going to basically be used, from what I see, as, as, as a valid... Uh, can be used as a valid scenario for people who are against uh, guns, you know, who are anti-gun, anti-gun ownership, more legislation, and more, uh, more rules, more, more, and more everything. Um, and in addition, uh, you know, this young girl uh, gets uh, murdered in the process and no justice is served. You know, how is that for the law working for you, you know, for, I guess from what is, is uh, understood is, is this trial was held in San Francisco, not for any sort of um, uh, race reasons, but it does, it does seem that way, I think they brought him back because he had a, a felony charge there, uh, I think it was a drug charge or something, uh, and so they had the trial there. I, I, I'm still baffled as to how people could believe his changing stories. You know, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm not a. I'm not a juror. I, I don't know what was used in the court. Um, but you know, when when somebody says that they're out shooting sea lions, and then that they 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 throw the gun in, <laughs> they throw the gun away. I mean, isn't this? Uh, and then, and then the story changes after uh, the gun, uh, uh, the sea lion story, to being uh, uh, that the gun he found the gun under a shirt, and, and when he picked it up, it just went off three times. Um, you know, there were experts that were saying he had to be directly pointing at this this gun directly at at her uh, to 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 basically shoot her in, in a fatal way. So I mean, all the arrows with the lies with the um, uh, with the lot with, with lies with the um, <clears throat> uh, the the, cha the changing stories the felonies um, people have decided to you know vote to, for, to, to, to only charge him with possession of a gun and that's it <clears throat> he was uh, uh, recused of any murder charges and this is where everybody's upset and I'm upset about it as well I think it's it's a very horrid thing um, to have happened and it does not it does not mean it justice is not served here um, the uh, I think the attorney's name was last name was Gonzalez I believe you know started playing some other stories as well uh, and it just ended up being uh, it ended up being more about race you know he was bringing up a story from what sorry I keep itching my nose uh, he kept raising up a story about you know what if Sweden uh, uh, a sweet immigrant came in and and did this you know will we still have the same well law knows no colors law knows no um, at least the way that we're supposed to be following and obeying it, it knows none of these um, biases or labels. All it knows are actions that people commit and the circumstances involved in them, and the and the determining outcome will, uh, you know, be the price to pay. And it didn't work that way in this one. So, race was involved, especially with the defense. Um, it, uh, it, it's very disgusting when something like that happens. Now, the bigger, the, the overall bigger picture for me that I'm seeing here is this, is that, you know, um, the jury basically, like I said initially, the jury is basically saying that guns kill people, or uh, uh, guns by themselves kill people. Um, the statement that uh, Jose had said that, oh, he picked up the gun from the shirt and it just shot, fired rounds three times, 
on its own. Apparently that was believable enough for these people. A known drug user, just like saying if, if you're a meth head, you can go, um, and again, I don't know if this guy used drugs or sold them, you know, it could be a uh, whatever, but, uh, you know, it could be a meth head, you know, and, and, and are people going to believe a meth head? It, typically, uh, and again, law is law, you know, a meth head can tell the truth, and if, if evidence justifies the truth, then he might be uh, acquitted of any charges. However, in this case, everybody loved that line. The gun went off on itself. Uh, the gun shot and went off on its own three times. Guess how that's going to be used in the future? I mean, it's it's uh, it's just going to be disgusting, you know. Uh, you know, I, I I'm people are just uh, now going to say this is going to be a perfect example for the left, the people that that that, that do not uh, uh, comprehend logic and like to go with uh, <clears throat> assumptions. They're going to be saying, oh, yeah, you know, this is evidence that guns just do automatically go off and, you know, nobody will ever know what, what is going to hit them or whatever, you know, at any time. And, and it's just ridiculous. So, so uh, we got to ban guns. And with that, I mean, we're going to be seeing laws changed. I'm probably overreacting at this point. Okay, so what's going to end up happening from here, you know, my, my biggest issue going forward is is that you know the Stein, the Steinel case um, is going to be going down in history as a case where obviously law played no role um, but it will be used by people who are um, uh, wanting more gun control gun confiscation and um, illegal aliens to keep knowing that they're able to come to America and terrorize our our citizens. Black, white, brown, Asian, whatever. Illegal is, is giving that message. And, and that's the dangerous aspect of this whole thing. So two things here. The fact that they're thinking that uh, that they're that they actually believe that guns kill people and not people with their intentions. That's the first one. And the second one being, this is a, a, a very good jumpstart example for illegal, for people who are illegal immigrants who have been s slowed down since the Trump administration to now amp up their, their actions and uh, begin coming in in the droves again. If they're not going to be paying the price for a crime and they're able to be come back in, you know, come back into the country seven times, this is going to reverberate in Mexico. This is going to reverberate in China. This is going to reverberate um, in all these countries where where we do have a lot of illegal citizens coming in. So um, <clears throat> that's, I think, those two were the biggest takeaways for me and, and the, the biggest issues going forward. Um, beyond that, I, again, you know, the justice for the family is, is very, it's very sad that, that, um, justice was not served. It seems like everything here is political, you know, heart goes out to you guys and, uh, and, uh, you know, I hope, I hope you find peace, you know, you know, I know our, 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 uh, our legal system isn't in peace. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.